Mixer, what's up, buddy? Oh, I don't want to cover up Jennifer. Isaac, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Finally got all my supplies in. Very happy about that. So many cards to sort right now. I feel a bit overwhelmed. But I figured, why not uh, stream Elkanon? No lunch breaks today. Donald's on, but he's talking about growing your channel, not cards. Love the guys. Hung out for a while. Um... Uh, <laughs> But I, I needed some cards. I needed some cards in my life. What are y'all up to? Can y'all hear me all right? God, this thing says I have a terrible connection. I'm good. Thanks, Mixer. Oh, so many cards to sort. I made a cardinal mistake. I opened up stuff not on camera. I opened two prime packs and I opened a Fairfield and they were probably the best two uh, Primes and a Fairfield. What's up, NASCAR? You have a question. Just pulled a one of one, Joey Votto. Any idea what it's worth? Can't find any comps. What product is it out of, Isaac? Uh, 19 tops chrome. Here's the thing with 101s, Isaac, is that there's you're not going to find a direct comp because, of course, it is a one of one. Um, my best suggestion would be to look at players of a similar quality. So Joey Votto has legitimate Hall of Fame potential, but he's definitely not a huge superstar. Now, a Reds, Reds fan is, of course, going to covet that card far more than I would or many other people would. So that's always the difficulty with 101s. NASCAR, I'm very well today. My back still hurts, but I'm not at work, so it's a good day. Lou freaking rock. That's my boy. That's right. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I'm still blown away. I am going to make your package super fat. I don't think I can outdo a Nomar auto. I don't think I can beat that. I'm just going to let you know right now. Elkanon! Broham. I was waiting for uh, lunch breaks. No go today, I see. 50 is probably right in the in the right area. Um, but 101s, you know, it, it all depends. Like, if you list it on eBay or something, you got to hope 
a Joey Votto fan, a Reds fan, is going to get after it. Too much work, I understand. Lou, I know it's all good. Trust me, I, uh, I'm i going to keep my eye out for you. I actually, I went to my LCS today. I did not record. Um, but this guy has, Lou, listen, he has a locker from the original Yankee Stadium set up in the shop. It's authentic. It's awesome. I took pictures. I will email them to you. Uh, I think you're you're really gonna like it. I know I need to record them, but this I haven't been in there in a while, and I didn't want to show up and be like, "Hey, can I record today?" You know, next time I, I'm gonna go next week, week after next, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can record then. It is. It's really dope. Uh, and he's got all kinds of cool Yankee memorabilia in there. I took pictures. I haven't looked at them to see how well they came out, but I will absolutely email them to you. I think you're going to really like it. I did hit, I hit three Walmarts on my way to the card shop because the card shop doesn't open till 11. Um, and I was looking for clearance. I didn't find much. I did find Donruss. Optic and some prism. So I'm giddily waiting on those. May rip those at any moment. And then while I was at the LCS, I picked up that. I think that's going to be fun to open. That's awesome, Isaac. You've never had a one of one. Everybody's pulling their first one of ones recently. El Canon hit that beautiful one of one Fisk. You get a Vado. I'm digging it. Yeah, 2018 update has completely dried up. I am uh I'm Mixer, I gotta be honest, I'm not a hockey guy. My LCS did have a ton, a ton of older hockey hobby boxes. So you and Urban gotta tell me what you guys are looking for and if any of them are good. Lou, you don't have a one of one? Hmm. I don't have any Yankee one of ones. I'll have to look into it. Where's Kevin Kirk? There he is. Hey, Kevin. I'm glad you're getting better, man. It's good to see you back around. Always love seeing you in Dave's stream. And So these, there's not much in Series 1 of Stadium Club, but it's going to be fun. I love Stadium Club. I haven't opened those since I was a kid. So those are going to be fun. I'll get around to that at some point. It's just too big to leave in the middle of the middle of the table like that. That's not bad at all, man. Joe DiMaggio out of nine. Yeah, Mixer, when I go back in a week and a half, I'll take some photos of the... I mean, he's got stacks and stacks of stuff, like Upper Deck and OPG and all kinds of hockey cards. Um, so I'll take pictures. And they're all, I mean, fairly reasonably priced, I would assume. I don't think any of them are more than $20 for a box, so... Um, but I'll take pictures and I'll, I'll let you guys know and see what's up. Uh, so my shipment came in. I have all my top loaders. I have a thousand top loaders. I have two thousand uh, card sleeves, which I desperately needed. And I bought some storage boxes. Oh, and I got this killer at the LCS. I got this too. It was three bucks. I couldn't pass it up. Little Manny action. 
blue. Oh, I did not pay ten bucks. I paid three bucks. Um, hold back the vomit, buddy. I know you hate it, but it's a cool card. I like it. NASCAR, I'm pretty sure everybody in here is uh, already sub to you, buddy. You're still pushing for 250. You'll get there, Lou. It'll happen out of the blue, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right track. Ichiro and Kikuchi 84 parallel. I love those 84 parallels. Oh, see, Isaac got you, NASCAR. There you go. Yeah, that's really what it's about, Lou. I mean, it's just about the people. I like to see my number go up, and it's fun to hit the benchmarks and everything, but... I'd, I'd rather have 20 good people that come around and are friends, and I'd rather have that than thousands and thousands of faceless names, you know? No, Jabs has got it tough, man. It is... I, I can't imagine trying to appease that many people. And you can tell, I mean, he's he's had a bunch of backlash, and but uh, he's making a lot of efforts. He's very, very involved reading the chat now, which I think was a big complaint from a lot of people. He's a good guy, man. He's pioneering. I mean, you don't know how to do it till you get there, and you, you actually have to deal with it. I can't imagine. It would be too much for me. I'd freak out. Yeah, and then all the breaks he does, that's so much sorting. I just can't imagine having to deal with all that. It's a lot of work. Lou, I thought you said you had the uh, the gold jeter. I didn't see the gold jeter rookie, that 93 tops. I'm looking through ugh, Yankee cards right now. And it's turning my stomach. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what to do, man. I gotta put together a fat package for you. Good thing is I have a bigger baby, bigger bu bu bu, a bigger uh, a bigger bubble mailer, which is good. Gotta sleeve up my Wally, Wally. NZ! What's up, Bubba? Always love to see NZ. Yankees were the bomb this year. I will give you that. They are a terrifying team of extremely talented young men. That's a weird question, NASCAR. And... I mean, why am I one of the options? My best friend on YouTube is me. There you go. I answered. <laughs> I dodged it, but I answered it. Morning coffee break? Well, thanks for joining, brother. I will probably be on later as well. Depend and apparently I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb because I'm an idiot. So that's probably going to happen more. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I can't back out of Streamlabs without messing everything up. There you go, Lou. 
See, I don't have kids, thank God. Um, so I just went with myself, which is a bit narcissistic, but I'm okay with it. You didn't watch the game, NASCAR. Uh, the Na- the Nationals won game one. Game two is tonight. Um, I don't know. I think, Ver- isn't Verlander pitching? And I think it's Strasburg? I don't know. I have to look. Who's your best friend on YouTube there, NASCAR? That's a good question. I'm going to ask you a question so that you won't ask me questions. That's how that's going to work. I pulled this out of a fair field. I got giddy. I'm not going to lie. I got very giddy. Also, I pulled... Where is it? What did I do with that? Ugh. So many cards. Oh, here it is. I pulled this out of a a pack of opening day out of a Fairfield. I didn't even know opening day did relics. It blew my mind. Blew my ever-loving mind. Five more, huh? To get to 100? Well, like I said, NASCAR, I'm pretty sure everybody in here is subscribed to you now that Isaac got you. Um, But keep pumping it out there, buddy. You'll get there. You're doing it the right way. I always see you in the streams talking to people. It's good stuff. Lou, I think I'm for my next stream. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put nothing but Red Sox cards up on the display, and see if I can't get you to like convulsively vomit. I think that would be fun. I would want you to be live for that so I could hear it though. Brian! What's up, buddy? Yeah, I try to mix it up. I've even got uh, a little... Ooh, there we go. Lex... Oh, Jesus. If that happens again, I'm just going to end the stream. And I'm going to turn my phone on. Do not disturb. And then I'll come right back on. But, uh... Ugh. I hate when I forget to do stuff like that. Later, Isaac. <clears throat> you going to post it on eBay? I'll have to watch it and see how it does. You pulled an Altuve relic out of opening day? That's crazy. I didn't even know opening day had relics. Ronald Acuna auto relic out of 50 on Easter. Lovely. Yeah, I thought opening day was like the bottom of the barrel, uh, release from tops. I didn't think it had autos or relics or anything like that. Oh, there you go. Marketplace offer up. I've bought stuff off of marketplace and offer up. I typically see the same stuff um on both of them a lot of the time. People will post it on marketplace and then they'll post it on uh, posted on offer up and Craigslist and stuff like that. You'll get better. Got some great news today. Gonna rip some packs to celebrate. What was the news? Or are you holding that? You don't have to break it here, but congratulations regardless. I'm very happy for you. Which packs are you? What kind of packs are you gonna rip?
No, the Dodgers are not in the baseball series. It's the Nationals, the Washington Nationals, and the Houston Astros. Okay? You've never pulled anything good from opening day, Elkanon? You thought we were boys. Oh, from the, yeah, the comment I made earlier. We are boys. I just like to poke fun at you. Series 2 and update. Oh, sweet. I'll see you later, NZ. Thanks for dropping in, man. Always love seeing you. <clears throat> I, um... I saw, a <clears throat> excuse me, I saw a bunch of update at Walmart, and I thought about it, and I passed, and then I saw update at the LCS, and I thought about it, and I passed. I just can't take any more tops. I just can't do it. I'm over it. Until next year, I need a new design. I just can't do it. Everywhere I look, it's just an update. Everywhere. Oh, there you go. That a boy NASCAR. Brian's a good guy. I'm glad Truth isn't in here. He can't see his David Justice he's going to get. Sally! Good to see you. How are things across the pond? Eh? Oh, that got Canadian at the end. That was weird. Who's the Cubs fan? We don't have a Cubs fan. I don't have a Cubs fan on my list. I don't think. Uh, you're kind of over update holding on to your jumbo and going to play with my toys alone in my room. <laughs> Bleeping well cold. I believe it's Sally. Um, not to rub it in or anything, but it is a freaking gorgeous day today here in Texas. There you go, uh, NASCAR. Now you should be, what, four away? Is Sally... Sally, are you sub to NASCAR? He's trying to get to 100. Uh, he's four away. Any help would be greatly appreciated. <sighs> I'm becoming an old man. My back still hurts. From two days ago. I'm not pleased. Oh, Sally already had your NASCAR. That doesn't surprise me. Sally's awesome. Look at this weird like an old tobacco card of lawn bowling it's interesting turf cigarettes it's pretty cool ugh that top loader is disgusting but the card itself is pretty neat. I gotta find a place for Nomar, and I th think I'm gonna put Jim up there too. Uh, NASCAR, that's completely up to you. Um, I've been refraining from doing a giveaway. Um, just because I've been doing surprisingly well just kind of meeting people and, and following people. and um, <clears throat> My biggest thing with giveaways is that you get a bunch of people 
and then people enter the contest and somebody who doesn't even collect cards or never comes around wins and it's just it's irritating so if I do a contest I almost said do do if I do a contest uh or a giveaway rather it'll I'll have to do it kind of like Donald does it where you got to do a bunch of research to get entered um so we'll see how it goes. Sally, you will not regret uh, following Lou Rock. He is a super awesome human being with a really lovely backyard. He is a Yankees fan, so I'm going to warn you about that right out of the gate. Yeah, Brian, I hope you do. Those 84, ver uh, the throwback cards are so gorgeous. They're just so gorgeous. In the trash is a good place. Look at you. Captain Comedian. Love that guy. I kind of want to open that Fairfield. Just to get it out of the way. Gypsy Queen. Who is that? Oh, that's LeMahieu. DJ on the front there. Gypsy Queen. I love Gypsy Queen. I looked at the LCS and his prices on the Gypsy Queen hobby boxes just were, they were too much. They're going for 20, 25 bucks cheaper on, on the internet. So. Yeah, I know Sally. I'm just, I like to, we poke fun at each other. Because I'm a Red Sox fan and he's a Yankees fan. and They tortured us for decades. That is a nice DJ, Elkanon. Um, that will most likely find its way into your next shipment. Even though I like DJ, um, I think I PC enough players as it is. Yeah, I say it all the time, you know, I'm a diehard Red Sox fan, but I'm a huge baseball fan. I love baseball fan. I love baseball. Yeah, Sally, come on now. There's a reason we get along. Go Sox, Bo Sox. See, I'm afraid I used all my good hits on those other Fairfields. Um, I really, those were the best three I've ever pulled. And I should have gone to a Walgreens on the way home, but I didn't. I'm going to open it. This is happening. This is happening right now. I'm tearing it. Ow. God, my back is killing me. I need a heating pad and 10 years of my youth back. All right. There we go. Wally, I need you to get out of the way. Please and thank you. Just move these over here. Move these over here. Throw the Fairfield box away. <clears throat> Yeah, he's wearing the wrong uniform. Um, it happens sometimes. I'm going to move the tripod, so y'all excuse me for the motion sickness. Oh, that was fairly smooth. I'm okay with it. <clears throat> I'm just going to tilt it down a little bit here. Let's peek and see what we got for a pack in there. I think it's, yep, it's opening day. I'm not upset about this, because the last one I opened, I got a relic. I knew you were a Red Sox fan, and I knew you liked the Blue Jays, but I had no idea about the Mariners. That's awesome. Oh, man. This is a really nice Gypsy Queen card. Is that a variant with the green border, or is that just what they looked like in 2017? Number 245 in a series of 320. I think that's a special card. Set that aside. 
This, this pack's starting off good. Jim tell me. Upper deck, what year is that? 2008, wow. Like that too. Look at this back to back Tomies. No way. Three for three? What is this? What is going on here? Four for four. Jim Tome. They bought out somebody's personal collection of Jim Tome and put it in a box. All in one. This guy. Oh, little Trevor story for you there, Elkanon. I know you love it. I know you do. Some backwards stuff. Yasiel Puig. Jose De Leon, rookie card. Cardinals. Brad Miller. Rubicon. The Cardinals are your team? Hold on, let me write that down, Rubicon. I have another Cardinals guy. Kevin Card Breaks. No, Parker. Parker Card Breaks. Um, oh, Jesus, my back is killing me. Where is my notebook? I don't know what I did with my notebook. I am really, I'm losing it. Getting old. Can't find stuff. Oh, there it is. Let me write this down real quick. Rubicon 81 is a Cardinals fan. Who's your favorite uh, Cardinal of all time there, buddy? I think my favorite uh, Cardinal of all time is probably... Uh, probably Ozzy Smith. Cause, welcome. Always good to see you. You get your lurk on, Kanan. You're welcome to hang out. They listen in. I do it to your. I do it to lunch breaks all the time. Especially if I'm in traffic. Lucky, lucky. How goes it, my friend? Oh, okay. Pujols and Stan Musial. Okay. Good to know. Stan the man. Good people. Pujols. Not a fan. My buddy Spicy Bear. He is trying to amass the world's greatest Albert Pujols collection. Truth! If you're on the school pickup line right now, that's okay. You don't have to stay long. I'm just glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're well. Um... Drive safely. Joe Necro. Um, Bobby Johnson. Truth, you going to be around later? It's always a great day when... It's, it's always a great day when I get to talk to Truth, is what the thing is. Truth and I, we are... Sp we are cut from the same cloth. And I appreciate that about him. Okay, hold on. Cause has a serious question. Wart, do you think... No, I'm just kidding, buddy. What do you think about hot packs from eBay? Is it cheating? Um, I'm completely indifferent about hot packs from uh, eBay. I don't buy individual packs anymore at all. Um... If I want to buy something, I'm going to buy a box or I'm going to buy manufactured pack like that. Uh, a hot pack, Sally, is where somebody buys a hobby box 
and they open up packs and they get down to the last one and they haven't hit one of the hits that was redundant they haven't pulled a relic or an auto so they know that the relic or auto is in that pack and then they can market it as a hot pack so it's essentially a pack with a guaranteed hit Um, Albert, because he's the best of my generation. Ooh, I will respectfully allow you to have that opinion. No. <laughs> uh, Albert's he's a very good player. And Stan, cause, oh, you met him in 1994 at a fan appreciation day and got his auto on a ball that I lost. Rubicon, I'm sorry about that, my friend. We are soul sisters. That's right, me and Truth. Uh, yeah, Sally, because it's a guaranteed hit, uh, typically it would cost more than a regular pack that you would buy at a card shop where they've already opened up the hobby pack and they, or the hobby box and they're just selling individual packs as opposed to the whole box. This guy, Steve Sachs. This guy couldn't throw the ball to first base at one point in his career. There was an old joke that uh, Pedro Guerrero couldn't catch it and Steve Sachs couldn't throw it, so they just didn't want him to hit the ball in the infield. Greg Gagne. More 86 tops. I am slowly... (laughs) I'm inching closer to having this complete set just from rando cards, which I love. I love 86 tops. Uh, Just working on getting... Yep, okay. Best card of all time. I'd pull host? I don't understand what that means, Lou Rock. Um, Since 2001, name a better... Oh, yeah, as a Cardinal, I'm going to go with Yachty. I think Yachtier is a better player than Albert. But I have an an affinity for catchers. I played catcher back in the day, and... uh, I really, it's a difficult position and I don't think it gets enough credit. And I don't really like Albert Pujols, so of course I'm going to pick Yachty. I'm hoping he uh, has a couple more years left in those knees because I love watching him play. You just got a guaranteed 2019 Bowman Platinum pack. Okay. I look forward to seeing you open it. Hopefully you hit like Thunder and Lightning in that pack. Yeah, that's the other dragon. Tim, good to see you, always. I'm pointing at the chat on my phone and you can't see it. Uh, Tim, that's a good point. Uh, there, Even though the seller says it's a hot pack, there's no way to be sure until you receive it and you open it. So you're kind of rolling the dice. I'm just not a fan of Pujols. I think he... uh, I just don't like him. I'm not a big fan. I don't dislike him. Like, I have nothing against him. Uh, He's hit a ton of home runs. I think it's quite suspicious that uh, he fell off a great deal when he left St. Louis and uh, the steroid testing started to become far uh, more stringent. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not trying to put the guy down. He's a guaranteed Hall of Famer. He deserves every bit of it. Uh, I just think it's, uh, I think it's a bit of a coincidence, and that's okay. Oh, wow. This next card is freaking awesome. Get some. Look at that. What a great picture. Super weird that there is a football card with disgusting stains on the back. Ugh. Football card in a baseball Fairfield. But it's Bo Jackson. And although I'm not ever going to touch this again after I put it in a sleeve, uh, I'm not upset about that. Joesters, welcome. Okay, wait. Oh, chat is flying. Wait. 
Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when he was, le when he left, he was 12 years, yeah, I know, 12 years, um, uh, <clears throat> in St. Louis under the tutelage of Mark McGuire. Uh, that is true, a lot of sellers do research or go by touch as well, that's true. Hi, Josters, I got that. I see the kid, I'll talk to you later, truth, drive safely. Um... Sally, I haven't forgotten. I'm just having a rough few days, but I will get back to you. Yeah, okay. Josters. Bonds, best player I've ever seen with Trout second and Ichiro third. I'm I'm inclined to agree with you. Uh, Bonds is the most terrifying hitter, I think, to ever step into the batter's box. Ted Williams is on that list. He's very close. Uh, but Bonds was just a freaking cyborg monster. Um, and it is a crying shame that he is not in the Hall of Fame and that he got blackballed and didn't get to continue playing. Uh, because I absolutely think he could have hit 800 home runs. Who is that? Todd Zeal. But it is what it is, you know what I mean? He'll get in there one day. Hopefully he's alive to see it. <laughs> you think a lot of team uniforms look like pajamas? I can see that. Especially in the 80s. They did this whole, like, the shirt without the buttons... And then it kind of looks like a big onesie. Except for there's no fuzzy footies. Well, the thing with Pete Rubicon is I'm almost positive that they are waiting until he dies. And then the year after he dies, they will put Pete into the Hall of Fame. And I think it's because baseball can't trust what Pete might say at his induction um and i think that's what it's about because pete has mellowed quite a bit recently but he used to be pretty outspoken about certain things in baseball but he's absolutely going to get in one day but it will most likely be posthumously ryan zimmerman this dude has been super clutch this postseason I'm so old, the best player I saw in person was Willie Mays with Aaron and Mantle right behind. Well, you were a lucky man. I would have loved to have seen those guys play. Babe Ruth, yeah, that's true. He's in that conversation with Bonds as well, but having not seen him, and there's not enough evidence, video evidence, to see like what kind of pitching he was actually uh, playing against and... But, I mean, I'm not arguing. He's absolutely one of the greatest hitters of all time. Way above, way uh, before his time. Um, Pete placed a bet. He never cheated. That's true. And you know what? Pete never took a playoff. Like, there's a reason we call him Charlie Hustle. He was an amazing player with not a ton of physical talent. Like, he was not a gifted athlete. He just tried harder than everyone else for decades. Uh, he is a bit of a potty mouth, yes, Sally. He is a bit of a potty mouth. He's just, he's a, he's a blue-collar guy. Like, he says what's on his mind, and I don't think baseball can trust that because the Hall of Fame induction is, you know, broadcast live and... It's a big deal every year. I hope you go to the game in London. Urban! What's up, buddy? It's good to see you. Sorry we kept you up late last night. I hope you're feeling okay today.
yeah, Rose, I mean, he did what he had to do, I guess. I'm really not familiar enough with the actual proceedings to speak on that, but I will take your word for it. <laughs> no more scotch for Elkanon. I enjoyed it. And I'll be honest, on my way home from work yesterday, I almost went to the liquor store because I was I was feeling accomplished. Five hard days of work, body sore, thought about getting smashed. Didn't do it, and I'm glad I didn't. Oh, look at this. It's Opeachy. I love Opeachy variants. Um, I'm glad I didn't do it because me and Elkanon drunk on a stream would not, it would not have ended well. People would have been crying for our heads on a pike. Yeah, that is interesting, Sally. It's just a different... Uh, you guys are different. You're used to different things. Because I know it's soccer. you got to give the ball back. Yeah, I think, he, I think the year after he dies, he'll be in. They've waited too long now. I just don't think that they'll do it. Uh, maybe if he got really sick, that's a terrible thing to say. But if he was like on his deathbed, they might put him in. Um, uh, I've got I got that disgusting Bo Jackson card. Uh, it's only disgusting because of the back. I got four Jim Tomies in a row. That DJ LeMayu is cool, but yeah, I really haven't hit anything extraordinary by any means but i don't expect to i mean this is a five dollar giant pack of cards um if i get one or two or five cards that i like then i'm usually pretty happy and it's good content people like to see it If I come across Albert cards or Carpenter cards, I would gladly like to work out a trade. Okay, Rubicon, here's the thing. With Albert, I've already committed to my friend Spicy Bear, which is all, ca all caps, spicy, space, bear. You should check him out because he's also a Pool House fan. I've already committed to help him um, create the greatest Albert Pool House collection of all time. Uh, so if I come across a double, something that I've already sent him, I would be happy to work something out with you. Um, as for Carpenter, I'm assuming that, is that Matt Carpenter or Chris Carpenter? Because you had two Carpenters. That Don Mattingly's not bad. Good old Donnie Baseball. He is a uh, Yankee, but he was a heck of a ball player. Yeah, but I, I may come across doubles, Rubicon. I mean, I don't think he needs, like, 500 of every card. And I'm fairly generous. I mean, you could ask around. Chris Carpenter? Let me write that down. Is That's your guy, huh, Chris Carpenter? Chris Carpenter and Stan Musial. Let me write that down. Chris Carpenter... Stan Musial. Okay, I got that written down. Um, I'll have to go back and look through my cardinals and stuff. Um, additionally, Rubicon, my email address, another Don Mattingly, they are doubling up hardcore. I'm okay with it. Cole Calhoun had a great, uh, great year this year. What was I saying? Um, Rubicon, uh, my email address is in my About tab. Feel free to drop me an email anytime um, for any reason. If you want to chit-chat, I don't care. Tim, you saw LeMahieu play in high school. Was he a beast back then? Because he's a beast now. I'll tell you that. So here's a big pile of garbage. <clears throat> If anybody saw anything in this pile that they liked, let me know. But uh, most of it is garbaggio. Uh, 
that's fine, Rubicon. You don't have to do that. I don't ever ask for anything back uh, when I send people stuff. But if you ever come across Andrew Benintendi, that's that's the guy that I PC. I still haven't put my PC in my about. God, I suck at life. I'm gonna have to do that. This is a ridiculous mess of cards right here. I'm trying to get them all to go the same direction. Taking it sweet time. Dragon wings suck? Wait, what did I miss? Yeah, email me. Isaac, yes, he kicked our butt when we played his team. Oh, you actually... Oh, okay, you weren't on the team. You just saw them play, but he was playing your high school. Interesting. That must have been fun. Oh, I almost forgot. We have this opening day pack. Pete! Good to see you, buddy. Welcome. You just mu missed a big pile of Garbaggio that came out of that Fairfield, and now we're opening... Opening, opening day. Opening, opening day. Opening... Anyway... Uh, Jason Hayward. Michael Fulmer. David Dahl. You have an in-person Pujols auto. Um, I am interested in that, Lou, because I would love to send that to Spicy. But if uh, Rubicon beats me to it, I can uh, totally respect that. I'm sure there's plenty of Pujols autos out there. They were in town. The Angels were in town this year. And I was I was really blown away at the amount of time that Pujols and Mike Trout spent signing autographs for fans along, along the side of the field. Uh, that's fine. Rubicon, if you want it, I mean, go after it. Lou is a super cool cat to deal with. Josters, don't you apologize to me. You sort cards all you want, my friend. I'm just glad you're here. Thinking about collecting bogs again? I love bogs. I PC bogs. He's my favorite Red Sox player of all time. Um... Ben Intendi is my favorite current player. I'm. How does this happen? I've heard other people getting football cards in a baseball thing, but what? Why? Well, I'm going to put that in a sleeve so I don't have to touch it. Old school player. You talking about Boggs? He was a champ, man. He's a fantastic hitter, and he worked very, very hard to become a, a very solid third baseman, which is not an easy position to play. Uh, he was not better as a Yankee. He had already become an outstanding player and he went to a team that wasn't uh garbage and i'm very happy that he won a world series um yeah somebody said cause was that you that told me yeah you told me about that uh that he he signs through the mail and you got his uh rookie his 83 tops rookie signed you told me that once before Yeah, Pete. Uh, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to keep going on to the Rays after that. The only thing I remember about Boggs playing in Tampa were the hideous uniforms, and that he hit a home run for his three uh, thousandth hit, uh, which was uh, fantastic. Papa J, drive safely. Thank you for popping in. Always happy to see you. 
Papa J is a gem, a shining gem in this community. Keep going, Lou. Keep it up, buddy. You bought a lot of patience from me with that amazing friggin' package you sent me. So you can just keep on ragging all you want. To this day, I can picture Boggs riding that friggin' horse around Yankee Stadium. <laughs> I was so happy that he got a World Series, but it disgusted me. Indy! Good to see you, buddy. Glad you're here. Wow, we jumped up to 16 while I was rambling on about this, that, and the other. You wrote him a bunch and didn't get anything, Pete? I'm sorry, buddy. I will never forget about Mama J. Mama J is the queen of the card collecting community. Well, one of the queens. Sally's in there. Bobby's in there. We got a we got some wonderful ladies in this community, and that makes me really happy. You lurk all you want, Indy. I'm just glad you're here, buddy. You don't have a Mattingly rookie? <laughs> Lou still he's twisting the knife. He's got the dagger in. He, he he got the right spot. It's between the ribs, and he is twisting. He is turning that dagger, and he is enjoying my pain. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, Mattingly and Boggs did hate each other. That's because the rivalries used to be legit. I think... Uh, Yankees Red Sox still is pretty legit of a rivalry but for the most part with free agency and uh, you know guys training together in the off season and coming from the same country and I don't think the rivalries are as vicious as they used to be she can be the first lady I'm okay with that I love me some Mama J she's amazing Yeah, I mentioned Bobby. I love Bobby. She's been rocking. She's been dropping a bunch of card videos recently, and they're fantastic. She's always sporting her nails. Got her nail game going strong. Clemens, rookie. Um, 85 tops is the best way to go on that. And then Mattingly is 83. Somebody correct me. It's either 83 or 84. I want to say it's 83. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before, and I'm sure it will happen again. You think it's played up sometimes? I think it's played down a lot of the time. Well, that's because A-Rod is a very hateable person, Pete. I mean, I don't think I've ever met anyone who has met A-Rod and said 84. Okay, thank you. Um, said that A-Rod was a good person. I mean, it's Jeter. Jeter is beloved by pretty much everyone, including Red Sox fans. It's a begrudging love, but we love him. And, uh, you know, I imagine it's pretty hard for that guy to hate somebody. And he freaking hates A-Rod. Because A Rod is a douche burger. Yeah, the soccer, uh, football, English football, uh, soccer. The soccer rivalries are legit. Um, I'm a Manchester United fan myself. Uh, Mattingly rookie for four, yeah. You can get them. It's fairly easy to find the Mattingly rookie in pretty good uh, condition. Yeah, I don't know what J-Lo sees in A-Rod, but, you know, if they're happy, I'm happy for them. 
I just wish ESPN would stop putting him on television because he's a freaking terrible analyst. A terrible analyst. Essentially, his pure existence irritates me. <clears throat> Omar Vizquel was solid. I always liked Vizquel. Yeah, you gotta love Big Poppy. I'm just so glad he recovered from that terrible attack. You hate Barry Bonds? That's okay. A lot of people do. He has a very hateable uh, personality. <clears throat> but you can't deny the guy's terrifying uh, at the plate. You met A-Rod? He is full of himself. He's a, he's a jerk. Barry Bonds was just a... He's a fairly, fairly unpleasant individual to the media... <clears throat> Vizquel was solid on the field and he wasn't a terrible hitter either I want to say he, he had a high twos average like 280 280 something lifetime might be even a little higher than that you agree with me about rivalries growing up in an age when players were with the same team until traded or released yeah it was just different back then one cent. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome. He did make half a billion playing, and most of it was undeserved. Well, that's not entirely true, Phil. I know. Uh, he did put up a lot of numbers. Um, there's just something about when you have that much talent and you're that much of a D-bag, I don't really care about you. Uh, yeah, I would probably take Fiskel over Ozzy. I think Ozzy had more range. I think he probably wins in the defensive department, but not by much because Fiskel was very, very good. 272. Okay, I was close. Uh, but Ozzy was not known for his bat. Um, but he was so acrobatic. He was so physically gifted. He could, he could, had some serious range at second. Let's open this Donruss. I really like Donruss. And I like clearance packs. So this should should go... Uh, this should go well. Urban, are you going to get... Are you going to stream tonight? Before you go. Are you going to go on tonight? You going live tonight, buddy? Huh? I wasn't far off. This girl hit 272 lifetime. That's not bad at all. You are good. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Ooh, he almost got to 3,000 hits. Alomar. Uh, you know, Roberto Alomar, he made a terrible decision. And he spit on a nub. And he's caught so much flack for that. I think people forget how freaking good that guy was. The French Connection. Uh, Roberto Alomar was <laughs> an amazing second baseman. That whole um, Vizquel and Alomar, they were on the Indians together. That Indian squad was stacked. How they never won a World Series during that time is baffling. No, there will be no Philip Scotch. I, you guys will most likely never... I will never stream when I'm intoxicated. It's just not going to happen. I'm a vulgar, terrible human being, and I hide it really well when I'm not drunk. Wade freaking Boggs. The chicken man. Love this guy. This card is backwards. I don't know if that means anything. It will haunt him forever, but I mean, players have done much worse and have been forgiven for it. I just, I don't know. It's 
it's interesting. This is the famous San Diego chicken and it's backwards. Let's see if it means anything. Oh, it's numbered. It's a numbered chicken. 48 out of 199. I'm digging it. I always feel like he's mugging me. Don't you look at me, chicken. I will deep fry your silly ass. And I'm moving on. Chris Bryant. Chris blah, blah, blah. Chris Bryant. Mama J, thank you for dropping in. My day is going fantastic, and it just went to a whole nother level because you are here. He's already in the Hall of Fame. He's been in the Hall of Fame for quite some time. Rubicon. Spitting on an ump. I mean, the guy had Hall of Fame numbers across the board. Multiple uh, gold gloves. There was no way anybody was going to keep Roberto Alomar out of the Hall of Fame. Uh, I can't get into New Don Ross because... Yeah, I've gone over that before. Demos. Demos, good to see you. Uh, it used to bother me. It doesn't bother me anymore because in most Panini products, I feel like they put the money that uh, they're saving from the licensing into the card. Now, Don Ross is very plain, but I love it because I love stuff like this. I love it. That's my boy, Benny Baseball, doing his thing. This is like the sepia. Ugh, Yes. I'm covering the chicken, stupid chicken. Um, but it doesn't bother me anymore. It did bother me for a while, but I'm over it. Jose Mesa is why they did. Yeah, that's true. And then speaking of Vizquel, didn't Mesa and Vizquel have a thing where Mesa kept nailing him? Because Vizquel came out with an autobiography and talked crap about Mesa and how he blew the whole, their chances. Um, I think Papa Jay let... Mama J now, and I love him for it. Which guy looks odd? Wait, Bob's or Chris Bryant? Uh, I haven't kept up with baseball in a long time. I wasn't aware. Yeah, no worries. I let you know. Uh, he got in. There was no way they were going to keep him out. He was probably the best second baseman from that era. I can't think of another one off the top of my head. Feel free to put it in the comments if you guys think of one. Somebody that could take that title, like the 90s, was Roberto Alomar at second base. Uh, just telling Papa J that it would be fun to have all the mascots on cards. I have a bunch of them. They're in that stack over there that you can't really see. I definitely don't have all of them. Because I was talking about you earlier, Mom. Well, actually, we all were talking about you, Mama J. We were talking about how you're the first lady of card collecting now. And that we all adore you. Question, is Don Ross... Yes, Don Ross is a, a Panini product. See the Panini there? You really only have two companies uh, making baseball cards. You have Tops. Tops has the logos. Tops does a whole bunch of stuff like stadium club and triple threads and all kinds of stuff and then panini does don ross they do optic they do prism so instead of having a bunch of companies like we had in the 90s where it was like don ross and score and upper deck and fleer um, now it's just the two companies and they make a bunch of different stuff uh, Chris Bryant, it's the way that photo has been taken. Yeah, with his arm all, like, weird. Uh, Craig Biggio. Random. Fitzy. Good to see. Oh, we were talking about second baseman. Craig Biggio. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm still taking Alomar at second all day. Biggio was very good. Don't get me wrong. And that's a fantastic, uh, it's a fantastic call. Like, he's definitely also very deserving of his spot in the Hall of Fame. But I feel like, I feel like uh, Robbie had more range. Um, and he was probably a better hitter. But I'm not positive. Biggio was a better hitter? That's possible. I think Biggio had more pop. I would, I would guess that Biggio... Yeah. 
I don't know if that's true, Demos. I'd like to see the numbers on that. I know he was a catcher when he came up, but I don't remember him playing very much time in the outfield at all. And speak of the devil, not that he's the devil. Or is he? No, he's not. He's the Hall of Famer, Robbie Alomar. Paul Goldschmidt. Kevin really likes that guy. Kevin Card... Kevin Card... Card Collectibles. Uh, I can never say his name right. I'm so tired of pulling Andrew McCutcheon. So tired of it. Victor Robles. Dave freaking Durango. Dave freaking Durango. Love that guy. Good to see you, buddy. I hope you're well. If you guys don't stay up late and watch Dave, you're missing out. You can always rewatch it. This is a really nice Cal Ripken. Iron Man. I like that. <clears throat> Biggio was very good. I definitely think Alomar was a little bit better. So someone is coming on early in the day. Pirate, if you want to go live, I will get off right now. But you know darn well I have the day off. And nothing better to do than to chat with you fine folks. Yoan Moncada. It's good to see you, Pirate. I hope you're feeling a little bit better. Trey Mancini. I started haggling this guy. Or heckling. Haggling? He was selling cars. No. Uh, he was playing right field and I started heckling him this year and then these three drunk guys really really started heckling him and I felt like a douche at the end of it speaking of douches uh, Chris Archer where's Bobby she's the only person I know who gets excited about the Rays Mike Trout this guy guaranteed Hall of Famer Kershaw You're good? Okay. Ken! Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're well. This guy. The crown munchkin of baseball. This guy's a beast. He really is. Dozier. Dozier. I know it's Dozier. I just... I say things stupid sometimes. Elvis. Really like Elvis. Here's another chicken. Oh, he's mugging me. Those goofy eyeballs. I'm very well, Ken. I'm enjoying my day off immensely. I went to three Walmarts this morning. I went to the LCS. Got some Stadium Club. Gonna open that later. That's gonna be fun. Got some clearance packs from Walmart. My supplies came in from Amazon, so I have a ton of uh, top loaders and sleeves. And I'm a happy boy. I'm essentially a pig in crap, only it's cards and still a pig. Similar, not the same. Leave the chicken alone. I will slap that chicken all over the place, Sally. I will deep fry his feathery butt. Got a parallel of a chicken. <laughs> not everybody can say that. Bobby, I was just talking about you. I had a Rays player, and you were the only person who gets excited about them. I'm putting together one for you, Bobby. I got all kinds of garbage. I mean, Rays cards that should be with you. Yes, everybody say hi to Dave. I love Dave. Dave, I've got a pile started for you too, buddy. but I got to get some good stuff in there. So out of that, this is by far my favorite card, obviously, because it's Ben Attendi. Oh, yeah, Truth does like the Rays, but when I think of Truth, I think of David Justice because he's literally the only David, David Justice fan I know. And uh, more power to him for that. Dave Justice was not bad at all. You like Piles. Hey, Ricky. Ricky. 
Reel it in, buddy. Okay? No, I'm just kidding. Ben Nintendo's going to hit 400 next year. You've heard it here. When it happens, I will rub it in. Not out, just in. Oh, this is, uh, we're doing Optic. It's happening. Shohei, I hope he pitches this year, this coming year. Look, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already on to the next year. We're not even done with the World Series yet. You have a card boxing, card unboxing to do, but I can't get my head around it. Plus, I've lost my headphones, and I need the mic. Oh, you could probably get some new headphones. These are really shiny. I like shiny things. I stand corrected. Biggio played. Yeah, I was going to say he played the majority of his career at second. Um, I'm surprised he played more games in the outfield than he did catching. That is surprising. I'd like to know how many gold gloves versus how many gold gloves. How many gold gloves did Alomar have and how many gold gloves did Biggio have? Because I'm almost positive that Alomar had more. Eddie Matthews. These are really gorgeous cards. Now, they look just like the Donruss. They're just... Who was I talking to? Rubicon. See how it's essentially the same design? Just different material. Garrett Cole. Hats McGee would go crazy for that. Herrera. There's Yachty. Love Yachty. Hoping he's got a couple more years in him. You're going to get some? Good. Baseball season ended. That's right, Ken. You're my Cubs fan. You're my Cubs fan. I forgot about that. i got to write that down. Um, they only had two hanger boxes, but hey, they actually had it. So, oh, what was it, Update? Or was it Chrome? I still haven't found Update Chrome yet. But in my defense, I didn't go to Target today. Oh, you went to Walmart. Okay, so it was definitely update. You were looking for update. Daniel Murphy. Because Chrome is a Target exclusive, I believe. Puke fest. He's actually pitched really well since he came back from uh, injury. Boom! The kid. The kid. Oh, here we go. Some pinkness. Cody Bellinger. He looks like he's... All of 14 in that picture. Great ball player. There you go. Little Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan. I choked all over that name. Beltre. People love this guy. I have an issue because he played for the Red Sox and did absolutely nothing at all. Except collect paychecks. JD, I'm glad you were with us while you were. I have a feeling you're gone. Pinnacle Performers Break from 98? Yeah, I'm definitely interested in that, Dave. Uh, I will be looking forward to that. Dave Durango is my nightcap, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I do not end a day without watching at least a little bit of Dave Durango. He plays the tunes. He opens the cards. Ugh, that's disgusting. Ugh, Lou Rock. Lou Rock's going to get that. I'm not going to try to say that name. Oh, oh, it was backwards. Oh, please be what I hope you are. Uh, why was that backwards? Raffy Big Stick. Why was it backwards? not numbered it is the name variation and i love it yeah raffy big stick that's a beautiful card very happy with that and then miguel cabrera that's gorgeous yeah we're covering the chicken back up stupid chicken so that wasn't bad at all 
That's a good deal for four bucks. Pretty good pack of cards there. Yeah, short print. I'm okay with it. I got excited. I was hoping it was autographed or something. <sighs> That's a cool chicken, Bobby. Chicken's not going to be cool when I put him in a pot. Boil him. That would be nice, but I live in it. What? What would be nice? Columbus is like a desert for baseball cards. That's unfortunate. Thank goodness we have the internet, because that helps a lot. Yeah, Dave is my lullaby music as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, Tim put it up. Roberto had 10 gold gloves. Biggio had 4 gold gloves. So I'm definitely going with that. ABQ, good to see you. Sorry, chat got away from me. Dave Durango comes in. Everyone gets all riled up, and I love it. Mountain! Mountain! I love you, buddy. Good to see you. Pawpaw. Yeah, super chill in here, Pawpaw. Good to see you. Yeah, Rhino, Ryan Sandberg, he was very good. He could probably be in that argument. But Rhino played, he played a little more in the 80s. He's kind of a, a he kind of overlaps the generations we were talking about. Papa J has struck out, well, got one strike for Walmart update. Thank you, Dave. Thumbs down are also appreciated. <laughs> Everybody loves the hate. You know, Philip, the only bad thing for me filming when my friends are and thinking of... You're not stepping on toes ever, cause. Just film, buddy. Go live. Film. Do everything. Everything you do is gold, and I love to watch it. That will take forever to get there. Probably most more cost effective to buy the store. Yeah, for sure. Shipping overseas is always a pain in the butt. Papa found some update Chrome at Target today. I should probably go to Target, but I'm already in my comfy clothes and I'm not going anywhere. Maybe tomorrow. Rubicon, have a good day at work. Check back in later. Uh, I know Urban's going to be live. I'm going to be live later, too. Dave will be on this evening, I'm sure. He's doing the break that I need to hear more about. I'm excited for that. I pulled a... Uh, whew, well, Dave pulled me a uh, David Ortiz rookie card the other night, which uh, was absolutely gorgeous. And a surprise. I don't think either of us knew it was in there. In the set, I mean. Bobby, why are you not going to be live? We need a Bobby live stream. Your target was already out, Pirate? These things are going to fly off the shelves, I can already tell. Yeah, following Ken F is a good idea. Love Ken's content. Uh, no, Urban went back to work, Isaac, but he will be on later. Or you could uh, leave him a comment on one of his videos. I'm sure he'll get the notification on his phone. Well, we're, we're rocking and rolling on the clearance. Joe iPhone. My favorite little monkey. I love it. I need a Joe iPhone card, Joe. There's a spot back here. Sorry for moving the camera. There's a spot back here. Already ready for a little monkey. I'm just saying. Isaac, that's fantastic. I know you didn't know I live streamed Joe. I'm still pretty new to it. Um, I really enjoyed your update video earlier. I commented. I saw that you liked my comment. 
Pawpaw has had a lot of luck with the prism. I'm excited to open this. I like this product. I'm hoping there's some good stuff in there. I will e email you, Joe. Don't worry about it. I'll send you an email as soon as I get off here. And just let me know what what's a guy got to do to get a cute little monkey to stare at people on his live stream. I'm still a little upset. I don't have a primate card. I don't have a pay, uh, pirate card. I don't have a uh, moose card from Urban. I feel as though I am the black sheep of the group, but I'm okay with that. Oh, what is this? Oh, I forgot about the red, white, and blue pack thing. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Sorry for all the crunchy noise. Javi Baez on the pack here. These are the pretty cards, Bobby. So get ready. Put your sunglasses on. This will be good. One cent. Watch the hanger break video. I love the way that Joe organizes the cards and the recap. I do not have the patience for that. I usually go with one stack of cards that I'm interested in and then a stack of Garbaggio. And that's about all the stacking I do. But you got to tip your hat to a man with that kind of dedication, Lorenzo Kane. He's in the Garbaggio pile. Alex Cobb. But look at this. Whatever happened to this guy? Like, he came up. I thought he was going to be a big thing. Crushes the ball. What is this all about? Back-to-back -back Trumbo? We got a we got a double trumbo. Interesting. Those are really pretty. <laughs> I like the way Joe wrote one cent. That's good. I like that a lot. Um, nobody likes me. Elkanon says that's right. Good. I'm glad there is a Discord for all the hate because then I don't have to read it because I don't read Discord. If I wanted drama. I would have stayed with my ex fiance. You love the crunchy noise? There's more coming at you, Sally. I got crunchy noise for you for days, sweetheart. All right. We're into the next one. Trumbo was a beast, but he can't stay healthy. He's never out there. He's a lot of fun to watch in batting practice, though. No one could hat Philip Oldenburg, and that's because I'm too heavy to wear on your head. Don't try. I will crush your neck. Brandon Belt. Francisco. Francisco Rodriguez. Ooh, we were talking about you earlier, Mr. Bonds. Mr. King of Home Runs. Barry Bonds. Guy was a monster. And Justin Upton. The less talented of the Upton brothers? How often do I live stream? Um, not often. I get in where I fit in. I, uh, I try to get on as much as possible, but I'm far too exhausted to do it after work, so I typically work for four or five days and then uh, have a few days off and that's when I live stream I do not have a set schedule uh, you do not need a webcam to live stream uh, some people prefer the, the webcam I really like the picture quality on my phone so I just use my phone and I use StreamYard Stream, stream Lab Stream Lab Yard is on the PC. Whoa, that's a lot of typing. Uh, Chrome update, really hard to find. I know, Joe. ABQ, anyone have any recommendations for a webcam? Uh, I'm not surprised the one on your laptop is not good. Mine is not good either. Um... Primant always recommends Razer, R-A-Z-R, 
R A Y Z R might be how it is. Javi Baez. These cards are gorgeous. Javi Baez rookie card. And Neil Walker. So that was uh that was probably the least interesting of the three clearance packs. Uh, ABQ, you can absolutely use your phone for YouTube. Uh, you just have to download Streamlabs, S-T-R-E-A-M-L-A-B-S, and Streamlabs will let you stream onto YouTube. Labs, Papa, L-A-B-S, and it's all one word. You do not have to have a thousand subs for that. You don't like the badge cards? You don't want to be the sheriff of Card Town? Freaking Andrew McCutcheon. I pull this guy in every pack. I used to really like him until he put the pen stripes on. Uh, yeah, StreamYard is if you're going to use your laptop. Stream Labs is for your uh, telephone. StreamYard is what we use when we do multi-streams. Like when last night in Urban, we had two or three different people on at the same time. There you go. Patreon's putting it up there. Yeah, you should check it out, Papa. It's super easy to use. Uh, if you have any problems, just ask around, message me. My email is in my About tab. If you have any questions, I'll, I'll be happy to try to help. Spicy MF and Bear. Mr. Spicy Bear, the man. Good to see you, my friend. Hobby. I'm loving it. Always happy to see Hobby. Me neither. Hobby, you want to get into the giveaway? I'm about to close the window. That's right. Pirate's doing his giveaway today. If you guys aren't in, jump over there right now. Get in. Um, Pirate, you hit, what, 600 today? That's insane. I love it. Getting lunch. I'll stay here. Oh, okay. That's fine. You don't have to stay. The watch time doesn't really matter to me all that much. But I'm really happy you're here. Hobby, just go over there. He's got a video. All you have to do is drop a comment real quick. Just hop over there and do it real quick. Uh, up for Riggin. Good to see you. Oh, another Phil. I like Phil's. Most of them are pretty all right. Do you have one L or two L's in your, in your Philip? 600. Yeah, it happens when you get close to the the milestones you kind of pop up and then you pop back yeah everybody check out Riggin yeah I saw the video spicy where you opened up Wilmer's package that was great and you also opened up a package from Boomslang if I'm not mistaken that's alright Papa. we all get we all get lazy I worked the last five days. I didn't put up anything. I did comment some. Watched a lot of live streams. I do what I can. I do what I can. And what I can't do, I, I fake it. Yeah, 600 is a major accomplishment, uh, Sally. You have two months worth of mail to do? Yeah. What Tucker was nice. Oh, yeah, from Spicy's video. Sorry. Yeah, I did a 30 minute mail, a 36 minute mail day video yesterday, which is epic. Um, two guys really, really spoiled me Lou Rock TV and LA Collection. There you go. Throw the subs around. That's how I like to see it. We're getting closer, aren't we, Javi? We are sneaking up on 300. 
Um, it's it's baffling. I mean, it's it's really it's humbling. I never thought I would get to three hundred. That's for sure. Yeah, that no more auto is absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane in the membrane, and it's coming at you. Boom. No ma. No ma. My boy Lou Rock. Lou Rock TV. He's a good man. He's a Yankee fan, but he's a good man. And then LA Collection. Send in the Jim Rice. Jim Rice needs like a pair of bell bottoms, right? And a big collared shirt. And he is ready for a night on the town. Get some, Jim. Get some. Love that guy. I'm just going to let him sit down here and look at you fine people. Mama, Mama J, we will see you later. You're amazing. Thank you. The third time, third time that that has happened. Ugh. Gotta put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Ugh. Thank you, Joe. I was very excited by it. I'm excited by all of it. The generosity really blew me away. Oscar Gambles, Jeff, hitting it. Mama J, I'm sure I'll see you later. I'm sure Papa is going to be on later. You're going to get some new headphones and post Sunday? Good. Yeah, the demon did not return. Thank goodness. I do have a stream where I turn into a demon. It's terrifying. I encourage you all to watch it. It's at the very end. So skip all the boring stuff where I'm talking and go straight to the demon. You will enjoy it or you may hate it. I'm going to guess you're going to enjoy it. Oh, I touched the tripod. Sorry about that. I don't know if Dave is still here, but Ooh, sneak peek. That's all you get, buddy. I do turn into a demon, Sally. It's terrifying and yet hilarious. Um, I would say I'm more of a demon with a speech impediment. But we'll see. The jury's still out on that one. One cent. You have been falling behind on following people, my friend. As the Incredible Hulk? Yeah. Not so much. Um, which video was that? Uh, it was the live stream. Was it Killing Time? I don't remember. I should probably change the name to The Demon Comes Out, and then people could find it. <laughs> I do sound like a creature from the nether realm. What's a hot corner box? It's a Fairfield product. Um, there's like three different stages. There's the regular Fairfield, then there's the Prime Pack, which is like $9, and then the hot corner box is 15 You can get it off of uh, Amazon. Just search it on Amazon. Oh, yeah, and I guess Target carries it. I've never seen Fairfield at Target. Yeah, if you find it, Elkanon, let me know. It could be quick Fairfield rip video. That might be the one it is, Ken. <laughs> Jeff Airtime asking for a monkey card. That monkey card is super sought after. I love it. People love it. The people are demanding more monkey, Joe. More monkey. That's what people want. They don't want cards. They want monkeys. Monkeys on cards. Still baffled. So disgusting. Okay. I'm thinking. Anybody want to see some of this? What are you thinking? 
I did put try again on the next video, so it's the stream right before that one. Joe, the hobby loves uh, supporting you. Greed will kill the hobby. Absolutely. You want to crack it, Elkanon? Why not? I like Stadium Club. It's pretty all right. I'm pretty all right with uh, Stadium Club. No! It didn't work. Raffy Big Stick. Come on, buddy. Oh, no more. Just going to hang out right there, buddy. Oh, terrible glare on Jim. Show iPhone is a legend. The one, the only. Oh, ABQ wants a monkey card now. See, I'm telling you. 92 Stadium Club is classy. We're not in San Diego. Some of you might be. If you're in San Diego, let me know. And I will let you know that you are classy. There it is. This pack is upside down. Oh, I'm terrified that these are all stuck together. The chickens won. The chickens lose, Sally. That's why you can't see them anymore. Stupid chicken. Those googly eyes. Um, let's find out. Let's find out if they're bricked. All right, Papa. Come check, check in again later. It's good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Parker, you going to Walmart? What are you trying to get? You trying to get update? Oh, Ricky is selling his Joe iPhone card. $500 is the minimum bid. I don't know. I'm thinking we're going to be okay. I'm building a doghouse, so if those are bricks, I could use them. Okay. We could give it a try. I think that'd be cool to build a doghouse out of cards. That would be fun. This box is, like, all up in my way here. Get away from me. Go over there. Uh, Hal Morris. So far, so good. Glenn Braggs. Yeah, email Joe for the monkey card. I asked first. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Spicy. I can't even repeat all that. It's so good. Robin Ventura. Captain, I like to get punched in the face by old men. That's right. What is this? This is that. Isn't it Jousters that collects this kind of stuff? I've got a pile that I'm making for him. Ricky has the one of one Joe iPhone card. I think $500 is a, a very low starting price on that. Daryl Hamilton. Carl Rhodes. Spitfire. That's okay. Every second with you is worth the world to me, buddy. Thanks for popping in. You went 24 hours with no internet. I salute you, sir. That is a tough, conscious decision to make. Bill Sampin. Jim Olander. Puke. Gerald Alexander. Oh, here we go. Some Paul Molitor. Look at this guy. Hall of Famer. And Joey. Don't call me Joey Albert Bell. I remember hearing something about him, like, hurting cats on Halloween. I don't remember if that's true or not. <clears throat> You're my first stop. Thanks so much, Spitfire. Make your rounds. B 
be well. I forgot that you're a chick. My apologies. He does look super chill. Doesn't he look like somebody you want to just tell your problems to? Uh, Pete, <clears throat> excuse me, Pete, I'm sure there are plenty of really fantastic Boggs Relic cards. I don't have any. I'm almost certain I don't have any. If you do a quick uh, eBay search, search for current listings, and then also search for sold listings, and that way you can get an idea of what's been out there and you know what to be looking for. Fat Albert. Fat Albert, though. That's right. Look at this guy. This guy's like, don't forget about me. I heard you talking earlier. And Craig Biggio cannot hold my jock. I am Robbie Alomar. All right. That dude looked like Gordon? Who looked like Gordon? Paul? Or Joey? Not Charlie. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Captain can't hold a jock himself, Mr. Craig Biggio. Like that guy. He's good people. Joe Bover. Wilmer! Good to see you, buddy. I'm sure you're excited for the game tonight. Bye, Bobby. What are you making for dinner? Can I come over? I'll be there in like 12 hours. Club membership. Tilted Kilt, my fellow R2-D2 collector. Good to see you, my friend. Actually, I don't know if you're a collector. I just know you're a fan. Lenny Harris. Tommy Green. Oh, Matt Noakes, if anybody watched that Donald Blomdahl break, you probably are sick of that guy. Pete O'Brien. Doug DaCenzo? DaCenzo? Da, I don't know, no. Dave Bergman? Dave Hollins? These cards look a little faded. They don't really have that stadium club pop. This guy is so excited be having his baseball card photo taken. Anthony Young. Right side stack. Gordon look like... Oh, Jeff Gordon? Does kind of look like Jeff Gordon. Pete, watch the profanity, please. Okay. Thank you very much. Big fan. I've got a sweet R2-D2 uh, tattoo and a little bit of a collector. It's a dangerous road to go down. Trout and Yelich won the Hank Aaron Award. Both deserving. Sally likes BB-8. Most ladies love BB-8. What's not to love? He's a little ball of fun. And he comes equipped with a lighter. I like that. Speaking of lighters, I'm fiending for a cigarette right now. And you fine people are keeping me from doing that, and I thank you. Every second we spend here together from here on out is adding a year to my life. So for those of you who don't like me, <clears throat> just uh, tell me to stop streaming. And Lance Parrish. Spike Owen. Love it. Former Red Sox. Jerry Brown. This thing. Uh, Les Lancaster. He's a Lancaster. Tom Candiotti. Scott Erickson. Not a bad pitcher. Lee Smith. Former saves leader. All black R2-D2? Yeah, don't worry, Pete. I was just giving you crap. Um, 
what all black R2-D2 did you get? This is odd. Why? Why is the stadium club over there? It's not supposed to be over there. It's supposed to be over there. Hi, Edgar. Good to see you. That's weird. Has anybody ever seen one of these? With, like, the weird misplaced stadium club thing? That's odd. Edgar Martinez. <laughs> Go F yourself, those who don't like me. I like Spitfire's attitude. I'm right there with you. But don't go after yourself. Stay. Just like. Be a troll. I'm okay with it. Um, I am not pulling for the Astros. I am pulling for the Nationals. Because I live in Texas. And Astros fans can be a bit obnoxious. No offense, Wil Wilmer. You're not who I'm talking about. I'm not talking about anybody on YouTube, actually. It's just. People in Texas, we, you know, they love their teams. Astros fans especially. And I understand. I sympathize with the Astros fans because they were terrible for so long, just like the Red Sox were. And then they got to the promised land, and they want to tell you all about it. Go, Parker. I want to see what you get. Yes, the Astros are in Texas. That's what I mean. I have to deal with them every day. Uh, no, I don't live in Houston, thank God. I live in Dallas, which is not a whole lot better, but it's significantly better. Uh, before Dallas, I lived in Austin. Austin, Texas is the best place in Texas. If you ever plan on visiting Texas, I recommend Austin. Dallas would be second, and I pretty much tell everyone to stay away from San Antonio and don't go to Houston unless you like being perpetually wet all the time. And not good wet, like icky, sweaty wet. It would be over his foot if they put it where it should. Okay. Rangers fans are dedicated folk. Yep. Well, this year was the last year in the outdoor stadium. We're getting the indoor stadium next year, so hopefully people will actually come to the games. R2, oh yeah, the R2Q5, I believe it was. I could be wrong on that. I know the one you're talking about, though, Pete. No, I'm sure Nationals fans are just as obnoxious, but they don't live here for the most part, and I don't have to deal with them. Tilted Kill, I'm sure you loved Austin. Everybody loves Austin. That's why people are moving there by the droves. Franklin Barbecue is delicious if you're willing to stand in line for multiple hours. Where's Truth? Truth is driving the kids home. That's fine. This is going to Truth. Um... Cooper's is, oh, Cooper's is probably my favorite. Cecil. Cecil likes Cooper's. He's like, look, did you say Cooper's? I want some Cooper's. Hmm. I really do want Cooper's now. God, it's so good. So good. The Cooper's in Lano is actually the best Cooper's. Tim. Tom Candiotti. We've seen that. We've seen this. We've seen this pack. Scott Erickson. Lee Smith again. Look, and Pat Kelly with the weird... This is an identical pack. Because there's Edgar. And there's Jay. And there's Mark Gardner. And Walt Terrell. And Jimmy Key. Jimmy Jimmy Key, y'all. And Mike Boddicker. Hi, Chat Town. Welcome. So if I did, I'd be rooting for the... I would never root for the Astros. If I could go back in time and watch the Astros when Nolan Ryan played for him, I'd cheer for the Astros. 
Bama fans are insane. That is true. A day trip in San Antonio that was pretty cool. Yeah, if you're going to go to San Antonio, just do a day. Go do all the kitschy things that uh, touristy stuff. Go see the Alamo. Go do that. So go down to the Riverwalk and then get out of there because you've officially done everything interesting there is to do in San Antonio. Back when Cecil was a 42 waist, I'm going to guess a 46. He had a uh, he had a lot of back. Cecil got back. Jay has his mark on the right. Yeah, some of them are on the right and some of them are on the left. But not old Pat Kelly. Pat Kelly likes it in between. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. Alamo to Riverwalk and then run. Run for the hills. I feel like the Braves fans shouldn't like Astros. Mm, I don't know anything about that. Nolan Ryan is the king. Oh, that's cool. You got an auto baseball from him. Baton Rouge is a fantastic town. I really like Illin uh, Illinois. I'm an, I'm an idiot. Louisiana is a fantastic state. Kevin! Good to see you, buddy. I'm so glad you're here. That pack was extra crunchy. ABQ, thanks for coming in. Albuquerque. That's where I grew up. I miss it sometimes. And then I wake up and realize I was dreaming. No, it's a good town. If you're ever going to go to Albuquerque, I recommend going during the first couple of weeks of October when the International Balloon Fiesta is going on. People come from all over the world. It's a lot of fun. The weather will be lovely. Mark Witten. Carlos Bayerga. Great name. Great infielder. It's very good. Auburn guy. Oh, we got a Bama guy. We got an Auburn guy. It's about to go down. That's like the Crips and Bloods of college football. Just kidding. This, okay, here we go. So it's not unheard of. Pat Kelly, Greg Catteret, both have the thing in between the legs. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, Mike Sosha, this guy actually managed the Albuquerque Dukes the last year that they existed. Uh, I met him. Good guy, good coach. He was a great catcher. Not a great catcher. He was a very solid catcher. Sean Busky. Jeff Blauser. Talking about infielders. I used to watch Blauser and Lemke turn double plays all the time on TBS when I was a kid. <laughs> Reindeer! Good to see you, buddy. If you guys like art, go check out Reindeer Studios. He's the man. Still got to email you. I haven't done that. I suck at life. I will fight both of you. Andy's getting rowdy, and I'm okay with it. Lonnie Smith's getting rowdy. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, Sally, that's right. Bugs Bunny should have made a, a right at Albuquerque. Uh, Georgia girl who's about sick and tired of the hype. Just to choke at crunch time. Falcon Super Bowl. Yeah, that was a great Super Bowl. Go Pats. Uh, Bulldogs let down again. But hey, we have soccer. Woo effing who. <laughs> <laughs> Soccer's fantastic. You're loving the break, and you'll be back. Gonna go play guitar for my two-year-old now. Oh, Pete. I kind of want to go with you. I want to watch you play guitar. Uh, lucky, lucky, my last time in San Antonio was January of 85. I was born in 85. Snowed the day I got there. The next day it was in the 70s. That sounds like Texas. Uh, yeah, the elevation can get you. It'll sneak up on you. Albuquerque is over a mile high. Um, so when you go, be sure to drink plenty of water and don't overexert yourself the first day because there's not as much oxygen in the air. And uh, 
Also, I don't recommend drinking heavily the first night that you get to Albuquerque because, you know, alcohol affects you differently at high elevation. Uh, I'm pretty sure... I don't think Randy Johnson is in Series 1, but I think Griffey is. I'm not positive spicy, but thank you for the well wishes. Heading off to school for awards presentation. Good, Mountain. Have fun. I will see you later. Auburn's QB opened his mouth, said he wasn't in in imitated, intimidated is what you meant, by Tiger Stadium since he played in the kickoff classic at a neutral site in front of 90,000 fans. Gotta love it when they open their mouths and say stuff that doesn't make any sense. Braves were doing well. What went wrong? Um, they're young. Um... Just kind of works. Boomslang. Yo. How you doing, buddy? We were talking about you earlier. Uh, that package you sent to someone. God, it just slipped my mind. I got too much going on. Or in Colorado. That's true, too. Also, um, you might want to carry some Kleenex with you. When I go back, uh, my nose dries out really, really bad. And I usually get a nosebleed either the first or second day I'm back. Uh, just because the membrane is really thin. Jeff Treadway. Yeah, too many scotches will hit you fast. Uh, if you don't believe Elkanon, feel free to watch Elka Scotch live. Well, not live. Uh, he was live last night with Urban Card Breaks. It was hilarious and fantastic. I highly recommend it. Ricky Jordan. <laughs> Randy Bush. <laughs> oh, God, I'm a child. Lenny Harris. Reindeer just posted, a, uh, uploaded a video. I just got the notification. I recommend everyone watch that. That's why your ears were ringing. Yes, boom slang. Spitfire, thanks for coming in. Hope to see you next time. Have fun catching up on YouTube. Always good to see you. Pete O'Brien, I will not forget your check next time. My apologies. Doug Dashenzo. Dave Bergman. That card's upside down, Phil. Dave Hollins, Gary Thurman, and Greg Anthony. I almost called him Greg Anthony. He looks like Greg Anthony a little bit. Oh, my back hurts from leaning over, so I'm going to just stop opening for a second and check out the chat. Reindeer recommends his own video. Smart man. He's probably seen his content. Yes, Sally. Randy Bush. <laughs> I can't say it without smiling. Anyway. One before I go, you said Bush. That's right, Pete. I said it. Not only did I say Bush, I said Randy Bush. Get some. Or not. <laughs> uh boom, we were talking about uh spicy was it it was spicy. I think it was spicy. Didn't you get a package from Boomslang and Wilmer? That's what we were talking about. <laughs> That's a lot of bush. Watch it, Pete. Tread lightly. No, I'm just kidding. Go for it. I don't care. There's no children in here. And if there are, they'd be smart not to tell me. Parker again? No update. That's unfortunate, my friend. I feel for you. I really do. But to be honest, I am so sick of update. Um, I'm sick of that tops design in general. I'm ready for it to be over. Which might be why I'm opening 20 something year old stadium club. Yeah, have fun, Pete. Play it well. P. 
Pete, do you do you watch Dave Durango's stream? Because he plays guitar as well, and he's extremely talented. I think you would enjoy it if you don't already. I may have seen you in there, actually. Oh, God, I see too many people. Ken Caminiti, RIP. My boy Jack Clark. Getting his Red Sox on. Club membership. Dave... Island? Oop, that stuck to my hand. Mark Lee. Harold Reynolds. He's one of my favorite things to, about uh, the MLB network. Jack Clark's all right. Yeah, he's a former Red Sox. I mean, I'm fairly indifferent about him, other than the fact that he was a Red Sox. Dave Henderson. Anyone seen a channel that is opening 29, 2019 update? Yeah. I see 29, 2019 update in my sleep. Jamie Navarro. Navarro. I can't roll my tongue right now. Uh, Teddy Iguero. Jimmy Holmes. Terry Mulholland. Rocking the long hair. Oh, what is this? The uh, we're all kids in here now. Kent Herbeck, 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 Kent Herbeck. Uh, where are we at? We're on this one. Oh, these packs are sticking to each other, but the cards are not sticking to each other. You open it in your sleep. Yeah, Papa J, I understand. Imagine how uh, Eric feels. I'm sure Eric is. Ugh. I can't imagine opening that many cases of anything, let alone updates. Okay, good. Good, Pete. I want to see you guys get together and play. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Kent, by a vowel, Herbeck. I like that. I've never used that before. I'm going to steal that. Jeff, just so you know. Bob Scanlon. Uh, John Orton. Black Jack McDowell. Craig Worthington. Little club thing. Crap junk stuff. Crap junk stuff. Dave Island. Mark Lee. Harold Reynolds. This pack is uh, <laughs> eerily similar. Dave Henderson. John Candelaria. You have a closet full of what? Wait, I gotta read back to that. Oh, of update? I bet. Mini interview on my local radio, and basically it was about what you collect, and when I told them how many I had, the host said, that's going to be one big bonfire. I believe it. Jamie Navarro again. Teddy Iowara, Himi Holmes, Terry Mulholland, Kent can't buy a vowel Herbeck? Or can I buy a vowel? Rance Mullikins. Mullen Mullenix. Rance Malone. Who hates their kid enough to call them Rance? I don't know him, but I don't really like him. How much was this? Uh, I paid 20 I paid $20 for this. I probably overpaid. But it's good to support your local card shop. And I like Stadium Club. Series 1 probably has the weakest of the three series when it comes to checklist. Um, but it was fun. I will tell you, if anybody out there is looking for 90 Fleer, I'm pretty sure he had 30 friggin' boxes of it. Jim Abbott, this guy was amazing. Uh, One-handed. Threw a perfect game? Was it a perfect game or just a no-hitter? I don't know, but it's good to see a different card. Jim Abbott, we haven't seen that one yet. Here's another one. Larry Walker. This guy's going in the Hall of Fame. Next year, I'm calling it right now.
duplicate pack. Yeah, it's happened a couple of times, Jeff. I fully expected it in this. David Cohn hitting. Interesting. But with what is Boom Slang going on and on about here? He thinks like it's still the 80s. But with all the new young up, up and coming kids, it's going to be very interesting the next 10 years. Okay. Can't remove her. Who, who can't remember who was hot that year? 92? Eh. There you go, Lou. Bernie Williams was uh, channeling his inner Sabo. Al Osuna? Al, I need to pluck my eyebrows, Osuna. Willie Frazier. I'll tell you what, Boom, if, uh, if he would have offered them for five bucks a piece, I would have bought, I probably would have bought four of them. But I wasn't going to pay $15 for 90s, for 1990 Fleer. It's just not going to happen. Pet Borders. Todd, I'm a giant flop popple. Spicy, you like 90 Fleer? I'll get you a box, buddy. If I can find it for less than $15, because $15 is a bit excessive. Al a Lighter. Joe Orsulek. I'm looking for 90 Flair. I've never heard it said. Orlando Merced. Ironic. Just a no-hitter? Oh, don't be like that. I just don't remember if it was a perfect game or not. I think it was just a no-hitter, but I'm not positive. What pick was awesome? The Unibro? Lou, I'll take it all. I'm not going to say that. I'd like to know what you have, though. <sighs> Apparently, I can't open things at the moment. I've got a gnarly, like, mess of stadium club wrappers over here. Just wrappers in general. What's really ironic is that the trash can is literally right next to me, and yet I still throw them over there. I guess that's what happens sometimes. Oh, Bernie Williams' pick was awesome, getting his Chris Sabo on. And, hey, Vince Coleman. I don't think we've seen that one yet. This could be a sign of things to come. Jesse Barfield. Dave Hanson, Lee Stevens, Jeff Blauza, Sean Bosky, Mike Sosha again, Canaret, Paul Pagliar Ulu? Pagliarlu. Robbie Robbie Alomar. Great pick, too. We've been talking about him a lot today. That thing. Uh, Kurt Wilkerson. Cecil Espy. Or Cecil. Ron Karkaviche. <laughs> Sorry. Kevin uh, Kevin called this guy Ron Karkovice one day, and I like it better that way. It is Ron Karkovice, but I'm going to go with Karkovice because that's how I roll. Wally Moon had the best unibrow. I'll have to check that out. 
I am making my workspace more messy, Papa J, which was the, <laughs> the exact thing that I was trying not to do. <laughs> I cleaned it up earlier just so that I could make it messier. Because this is the hamster wheel that is my life. It's good to see you back, Papa J. You think Girardi's gonna be the, man the manager for the Phillies? I always liked Girardi. Um, of course, I preferred him in a Cubs uniform to a Yankees uniform, but uh, I like I've said before, uh, I like catchers. They don't get enough credit, and Girardi was a very solid catcher for a very long time. Mike Lavalier? Lavalier? Lavalier. I don't know. Something like that. Jeff, subbing a Lou. Lou's creeping up on 250. Right, Lou? Y'all got to get him there. There's 20 people in here. If anybody's not subbed to Lou, please do it. Because he's awesome. Ray Lankford. Manuel Lee. Yeah, um, Papa J, subbing everybody. I've never been able to figure out how to look to see if someone is sub to me. So I don't know. I just typically click on people's names that I don't recognize, and sometimes I'm subbed and sometimes I'm not. But at the end of it, what are you looking at, Mark Portugal? Uh, at the end of it, I'm subbed. And it works out really well. Mike McFarlane. Omar Vizquel. I forget he was on the Mariners. Randy Pukeface. Velarde. David Howard. Okay, this stack is just too much. It's too much. I'm not going to put that on Jim. I'm not going to put that on you, Jim. I'm not going to wish that evil on you. Look at all these cards over here. Everyone jump on Papa J's bus, a.k.a. sub him immediately. He does need a plane instead of a bus. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Papa J is a shining gem in this community. I always love the vibe in there. People come in here and they say, I really love the chill stream. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of my thing. And that's why I go to places like Papa J's. Because it's always chill in there. Only Papa J's stream is better because he's got Mama J. She's delightful. Rhino! Don't you blush, handsome bastard. Eric Hansen. Mike Sims? This image will haunt my nightmares for weeks. Uh, Mike Fielder. Alan Davis. Kevin can't help but ponder the meaning of life, Mitchell. What does it all mean? Why are we here? Marquise Grissom in those fantastic powder blue Expos uniforms. Henry Rodriguez. Don Paul. Where's Mama O? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. And I'm okay with it. There is no Mama O, thank goodness. Eddie Whitson. Bill Gullickson. I don't think we've seen Bill. That's new cards there. It's the first, uh, first Kevin Mitchell, Bill Gullickson. I try to interact with everybody, Parker. Nick, how are you? It is so good to see you. Yeah, the retro uniforms were epic. 
I wonder if we're going to get the Expos back. Tampa Bay really can't seem to support that team. Not that that team is any good. Bobby's gone, right? She can't hear me talking bad about the Rays. <clears throat> uh oh. The number one. This is an uncorrected error card. Because that's not how you spell his name. First card in the set. I was hoping I would get this card. See, that's how you spell his name. Not like that. I always loved how they put the uh, pictures of the rookie cards on there. Dave Smith. Yeah, I'm fantastic, Nick. Although my back is beginning to hurt from leaning over to do this, but it's okay. And I want a cigarette like you would not believe. But I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it at least through... I think I'm going to do three more packs. And then I'll save the rest for later tonight. Dave Cochran. <laughs> Cochran. <laughs> Rays don't even play in Tampa. The Rays don't really play at all. Well, actually, they played pretty good. Rich Gedman. Brian Holman. Mike. Bordick. <laughs> oh, it's getting vulgar. In my mind. Eric Karos, one of several LA Dodger Rookie of the Years from the early 90s. Brian Harper. Uh, other members of that group are Mike Piazza, Darren Jackson, not a member of that group. Uh, Mike Piazza, Eric Karos, Hideo Nomo, and Raul Mondesi. Steve Lake. Uh, I don't know if Thomas's rookie card is this set. But I know for a fact it's not in Series 1. So don't get your hopes up. But you will get a lot of Daryl Hamilton. Oh, really? I didn't know the stadium was actually in St. Pete. St. Petersburg, for those of you who are not familiar with abbreviations. Or the state of Florida. <clears throat> there are so many wrappers on my desk, I'm now throwing them behind me, randomly. Lance Parrish. Felix Furman. <laughs> Furman. Is Daryl Hamilton really dead, Jeff? I didn't know that. Spike Owen. Uh, Jerry Brown. Kevin Seitzer. I'm not hating on the Rays. Yeah, I am. I don't really care. Boomslang. Good call. Nick's good people. Boomslang's good people. I like to see good people meeting other good people. And having a good time. I like that mustache. John Ceruti. <laughs> Dick Schofield. Derek May. Sean Hilligas. Hill Hilligas? Hilligas. Daryl Hamilton's crazy ex shot him, then shot herself. That's why there's no Mama O right there. Okay. Tom Pagnazzi. Ken Hill. This guy was a really good pitcher for a while. Ivan Acalderon. There he is. Mr. George Brett. 
the second best third baseman from that generation? Yes, I did put Wade Boggs ahead of him. Yes, I am willing to debate. Please, let me know. Jose De Leon, I'm going two more packs, and then I'm taking a break because my back hurts. And there's John. Hey, John. Welcome. I'm tearing into the incredibly boring but fun 1992 Series 1 Stadium Club. Ken Hill threw a no-no? I'm not positive, Reindeer. Hopefully somebody will Google that. Jeff, you're absolutely right. Uh, that does happen from time to time. Especially when they spend time near me, because apparently I'm irritating. And little do they know, it's actually by design. Steve Olin, Mike Keith, Eric King. I love this set too. Yeah, I talked about that earlier, the rookie card on the back. Series 1 probably has the most boring of the three checklists. But I went to the LCS and uh, I said, you know what? This would be fun to open. There's Bernie Williams doing his best Chris Sabo impersonation. Allo Suna. Willie Frazier. Frazier. John Crook, first time we've seen the Crookie. This guy. Uh, Jimmy Jones. Todd, I'm a huge flop popple. Mike Gallego. Oh, you didn't know that, Kevin? Yeah, they show the rookie card on the back. Even tells you 1988 tops. I guess I really don't ever show the cards. I always loved that they didn't have a border. So you got all of Joe or Salak you could get right to the edge. Orlando Merced. All right, I'm going to open this last. Well, it's not the last. We're halfway through it, but... I need a break. I need to smoke a cigarette and stretch my back out. And... I don't know. Do other things. And then I'll be back. You guys will be sick of me before the next three days are over. Because I'm going to be on a lot. Fair warning. Craig Grebeck. Damn you, Grebeck. He, he is unsettling. His picture unsettles me, and I'm not okay with it. Doug Drabeck. Very good pitcher in his own right. Who said they were a Dale Murphy fan? Somebody said they were a Dale Murphy fan earlier. You could totally get sick of me, Sally. It happens all the time. Just their tops rookies, yeah. And there is Mr. Dale Murphy's. What would the rookie card show you on the back? Well, it just shows you their rookie card. In case you were wondering. You don't have to wonder because it's right there. They also have a pretty cool breakdown of his batting average in different parts of the zone. Apparently you want to bust Dale Murphy up and in, down and in, low and away. It's pretty common for batters. Jeff Brentley. Benny Santiago, who used to wear double zero because he didn't like the way the strap from the chest protector felt on the numbers on his back. In case you wanted to know, now you know. You're a sucker for punishment, <laughs> Sally, the masochist. I love it. You and I are going to get along just fine. Yeah, you like the chart? That one doesn't have a chat. Char a chat. 
that one doesn't have a chat because it's a pitcher. It's a pitcher. This guy can't hit at all unless it's up and over the middle or down and away. Probably didn't get a lot of at-bats, period. Gino Petrali. He's Petrali. Uh, Sean Barry. I'm getting very interested. Does it really? I never knew that. I don't think we hit any rookies. Not yet, at least. Scott Hemond. That'll be fun. I'm going to look for that earlier. I looked at the checklist earlier. I think there's only one or two rookies in Series 1. Kent Merke. Merke. Oh, here we go. Yes, this is how we go out on a high note, people. Dennis Eckersley. I wake up every day and I comb my mustache hoping to one day have a mustache that gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that terrifying face. Love it. He always had the weirdest glove to me. Anyway, I love Eckersley. And puke face. I hate that guy. Boom, gonna rip a, blast, a blaster box. Are you gonna go live? Right after this? Awesome. Everyone in here, all 17 of you, go check out Boomslang. He's about to rip a blaster box of 2019 Tops Update. It's gonna be great. Pat Listash was the big rookie. Pretty sure the back shows the picture from the front for that one. Okay. Frank Thomas was number 301. Is that series one? I don't remember what number. I thought it was one to 300. I don't know. Oh man, I made a mess, which is normal. It's fairly common. I have made a mess. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. It's good stuff. Get R2 in the frame. <sighs> Boom, are you ready? You ready to go? I need a mod, hold on. Now. I'll do it myself. I'm gonna post Boom Slings. Uh... Yes, you did, now clean your room. Don't talk to me like that. Boom, if you go live, I'll post your link right here in the chat. And then people can jump straight over there if you want. Because I'm done. I got to uh, I gotta take a break for a little bit. No, don't do that. There you go. Setting up now, good. Card 301 is Frank. Pretty sure I have that in my Frank Thomas's, but there's no way I'm digging for that right now. That is not happening. There are no Espinozas in 2019 update. I'm getting ready for the Series 2, NCJ. Can't wait for Game 2. It's going to be fun. John, are you, are you streaming tonight? You got something lined up for... What is today, Wednesday? Boom Slang's live now. Okay. Give me a second to copy the link and post it.
Boom. Copy. Paste. Boom. Just streaming on Sunday and Tuesdays. Okay. Well, I'll be off and on today and tomorrow and the next day. So, well, I'll probably see you. Everybody, click that link. Go over to Boomslang. I'm going to take a break. Thank you guys for being here. Much love to each and every one of you. Come back later. We'll finish the stadium club and maybe I will drown in pack wrappers. Maybe I'll go buy a snorkel. Maybe I'll do both. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye, John. Uh.